Hey everyone, Ricky Word Search. In this video series, I want to talk to you about how to use the complete biblical library inside of the Word Search program. Here in part one, we are going to learn about making a complete biblical library desktop. In part two, we are going to examine how to use this desktop. Now the CBL is going to greatly enhance our word studies inside of the program. And so anytime I want to do a word study with the CBL, I'm going to come right to this desktop. It's a pretty simple desktop that you can copy, edit, and use to fit your own desires inside of your word search program. So let's dive right in and start making this desktop. The first thing that we need to do is create our new CBL desktop. First, let's click on the desktop icon and then click on the new desktop option. When the pop-up comes up, we are going to type in the title, which is CBL Word Study. You could, of course, customize that to whatever you would like it to be. And then we're going to click on the second option, which is an empty desktop, and hit OK. Up at the top left-hand corner, we can now see that we have created our desktop, and we're ready to add our books to it. The first book that we need to open up is the CBL Interlinear. So let's hit F9 on our keyboard and type in CBL. On the list, we can find the CBL Interlinear. Go ahead and click on it and it will open up into the Bible Translation window. Now while we have it open, let's take a quick look at the CBL Interlinear to make sure we understand all the parts of it. As a reminder, you can view what each row is and you can turn it on or off by using the Interlinear Preference icon on the window toolbar. The first row is our CBL number, not to be confused with a Strong's number. The CBL has its own numbering system, so this number will uniquely work with the CBL dictionaries. This number is always made up of the main number in correlation with the word before the period, and then which version of that word after the period. Don't worry if that doesn't make complete sense right now. We'll talk more about this number when we look at the dictionaries. The next row is our grammar tags. If you aren't sure what an abbreviation means, you can always hover over it and see. Our next row is our original language text, followed by the transliteration or English spelling of the original language text. And our final row is the English definition. Now we can open up other Bible translations into this window if we would like to use them as well. We can include our regular reading Bible translation, which can be accessed through the Bible icon. We could also include our parallel Bible in this window if we want to as well. To do that, we will need to hold down the control button on our keyboard and then click on the parallel Bible. If you missed holding the control button and it opened in its own window, you can, of course, just drag the Parallel Bible into the first window by using the docking tool. The second window in our desktop is going to house the rest of our CBL books. I'm going to open them up in the order I usually like them to be in, but you may decide to move them around to better fit your study needs later on. So the first book that we are going to open up is the CBL Commentary. This time, let's use our Library tab. Before looking for our books, make sure that you have this box unchecked, as we are going to be opening up multiple books, and we don't want to be jumping between the library and the study tab repeatedly. Once that box is unchecked, type CBL in the filter in the top right. On the list, let's find the commentary and then single click on it. Now we know that book has opened up on our study tab in a commentary window, but we are going to combine our other books into that window as well. To do that, we are again going to use the control button on our keyboard. So hold down the control button on your keyboard, and we are going to click on the CBL Hebrew English Dictionary, the CBL Greek English Dictionary, the CBL Various Versions, and the CBL Harmony of the Gospels. You can also choose to add the CBL Greek Grammar Index and the CBL Textual Apparatus as well. Now let's jump back to our study tab and open up our Lexicon Explorer. In this desktop, 
We are going to use the Lexicon Explorer to help us access our other word study books. This will keep the number of books down on our desktop and keep the speed of loading our desktop high. In the training department, we have come up with what we think is an efficient order for the books inside of the Lexicon Explorer. To change the order of the books inside of your Lexicon Explorer, first open your Lexicon Explorer from the toolbar, then click on the Options in the top right hand corner to open up the Options area. Now I'm going to remove all of my books from the Lexicon Explorer so I can add them in and you can see them clearly. But you may want to just reorder the items on the right using the up and down arrows. As well, you may not have all of these books available inside of your word search. Any book that you don't have, you can add to your program at wordsearchbible.com or by calling into our customer service line. We are going to organize our Lexicon Explorer books from easiest to use to more complex. The first book that we want to move over is the Complete Word Study Dictionary. Next is the Expository Dictionary of Bible Words. Next is the Practical Word Studies in the New Testament. After that is Exegetical Dictionary of the New Testament. Then the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. There is an abridged and a complete. I usually put the abridged before the complete on my list. After that is Mounts' Complete Expository Dictionary, then Vine's Expository Dictionary of Old Testament and New Testament Words. Next is the Complete Biblical Library Greek English Dictionary. Even though we won't really use this on this desktop, we want it to be on the list so that if we use the Lexicon Explorer on another desktop, that the CBL will still be included. After that is Barclay Newman, and then the Lau and Nida New Testament Greek English Lexicon, then Liddell and Scott Greek English Lexicon, then the Theological Dictionary of the Old Testament, then the Theological Word Book of the Old Testament, then the New International Dictionary of the Old Testament. Next is Trench's Synonyms of the New Testament. Next is Girdlestone's Synonyms of the Old Testament. Then Thayer's Greek English Lexicon. After that is the BDAG Greek English Lexicon. Next is the Analytical Lexicon of the New Testament. And finally, Brown Driver Briggs Hebrew English Lexicon. After arranging all of your books, click on the OK button to close the Options area of the Lexicon Explorer. Now that we have finished setting up our Lexicon Explorer, we are now ready to use our CBL desktop. Please check out part 2 of the video in the description below the video to see the desktop in use. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.